Welcome back, everybody. Say hi to our friend, John Baptiste. Hello. Hello, friend. Hey, I'm going to be talking to uh, Jonathan LaPook, uh, Chief Medical Correspondent for CBS News, in just a minute. Do you have a question for him about the pandemic? Oh, wow. So many questions. When is this going to be over? That's the right. biggest question. I will, st I will start with this. What is the exit strategy? All right, done. All right. All right, I got I to gotta go. You got, you got, can, you, can you give us a little taste before we go? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. I got a little taste. Uh... John Baptiste, everybody. Hey there. Goodbye, my friend. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Turning to a smaller story, the 2020 election. Ever since Joe Biden wrapped up the Democratic primary, there is one endorsement he's been waiting for, President Barack Obama, seen here, remembering. Well, today, President Obama dropped this video on Biden's YouTube channel and started on a casual note. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. Hey, so happy to see you. Wow, it's, it's been way too long. Listen, there's a lot we got to catch up on. Did you know that the president after you is that guy, Donald Trump, from the Pizza Hut commercials? It has been a doozy of a few years. I don't know where to start. Okay, oh, here we go. Uh, the day after his inauguration, he claimed that his crowd sizes... You know what? Never mind. I'll send you some links. How's Richard Branson? Where have you been? I'm sorry, this isn't fair. Uh, go ahead, you were endorsing someone? I'm so proud to endorse Joe Biden for President of the United States. Choosing Joe to be my Vice President was one of the best decisions I ever made, and he became a close friend. That's yabba dabba true. Told you me and Barack are besties, that proves it. Also, I do have a girlfriend up in Canada. She's super hot. We went to third base behind the five and dime, and she's just too busy to come down and campaign with me. Now, Obama laid out all the ways Biden outshines our current president. When Joe talks about opportunity for our kids, we hear the young father who took the train home each night so he could tuck his children into bed. And we hear the influence of Jill, a lifelong teacher. Yes, Jill has been very good with one particular student, who has some behavioral issues because evidently he's a biter. Obama also expanded on the big appeal of Biden's presidency, other people. I know he'll surround himself with good people, experts, scientists, military officials, who actually know how to run the government. Hey, hey now, mister. You leave Trump staff alone. It is chock full of the world's top son-in-laws, Fox News cast-offs, scarecrows that wish to be media representatives and brain surgeons who are in charge of housing for some reason. Obama also talked about how times have changed since his first campaign. I could not be prouder of the incredible progress that we made together during my presidency. But if I were running today, I wouldn't run the same race or have the same platform as I did in 2008. <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if you did run for president again? Wouldn't that be hilarious? Or Michelle? Or how old are the girls now? Or Bo? What's Bo doing? Nothing in the rule book says a dog can't be president. Obama also reached out to supporters of Bernie Sanders, knowing that Joe Biden cannot win the presidency without them. Bernie's an American original, a man who has devoted his life to giving voice to working people's hopes, dreams, and frustrations. Right now, mostly the frustration part. And he laid out the stakes in November, our country's future hangs on this election, and it won't be easy. The other side has a massive war chest. The other side has a propaganda network with little regard for the truth. So this time around, we're taking a page out of their book. Joe is the strongest, sharpest, youngest man ever to run for president, and he's going to give everyone uh, a pony you can have sex with. Vote Biden Sex Horse 2020. We'll be right back with your questions for CBS Chief Medical Correspondent, Dr. Jonathan LaPook. That's right, I went from sex horse to LaPook. No transition.